Hello and welcome to section 5. After we learned how to create 3D models, now it's the time to talk about some other 3D tools, like how to define a material, how to measure the mass of the body, how to check the interference, and how to use the measure tool, and some other tools in the 3D environment. We will start with the very basic one, which is how to define a material. In the next video, we will need to find the mass of a body. To have the right value of the mass, you need to define a material so SOLIDWORKS can calculate the mass. To define a material, you need to go to the model tree and then you will find material. Here, I didn't specify any material yet. Right click here, then select Edit Material. What's nice about SOLIDWORKS is that there are a huge group of materials inside. Let's navigate through them. We have SOLIDWORKS DIN materials and here you will find aluminum alloys, copper alloys, and so on. Then, for people who work in steel industry, like steel fabrication and so on, you will find a lot of steel grades listed here, under steels. Then we have iron, aluminum alloys, copper alloys, and so on. And here you have woods, so you can define some types of woods. We have rubber, silicon, and so on. And for example, let's see steel. Let's go to ASTM A36. This is the type of steel you see in the bridges and on the platforms and any steel building you see. Most of them are made out of this kind of steel. Here we have some mechanical properties for this material and these values are helpful when it comes to finite element analysis. In our case, we are interested in the mass density, and this is the value that SOLIDWORKS uses to define the mass. So, whenever you have a material, you need to make sure that the mass density is defined. And here, for this kind of steel, it's 7850 kilograms per cubic meter. But for example, if you go to galvanized steel, you will see that there's some difference. Here we have custom materials, and here you can add some materials. In some occasions, you will need to use a material that is not listed here. In this case, you need to define it. For now, let's edit material, and for example, let's set ASTM A36 steel, apply, and then, as you can see, the name of the material is listed here. Now, you can select edit material, and here, under custom material, plastics, you can right click and you can add new material and then you need to define the material properties which you can get from the manufacturer or from the supplier of that material.